Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mini Day Z, episode three for a series here. You can see that last time we left off in a very rough spot. We're pretty much out of blood, out of water, uh, very cold because all of our clothes are damaged, so we're probably going to die very quickly. And that's okay because we'll just start this episode off rolling a new character as soon as we die. We will run inside this house, though, because I do like to see how far I can make it. But as soon as we run out here, a zombie's probably going to hit us. Oh, we got real lucky because he kind of made a last-minute move that was to our advantage. Um, but we're dying of starvation, so it's not like we're really in that great of a position. But that's okay. We kind of got really unlucky with the start there. I mean, we did get the backpack, which wasn't bad. But other than that, things have just been downhill. So I'm hoping if we just die right off here, which it looks like we're going to here soon. We can just roll another character here. Yeah, you can see this game is really no joke, so just let's go ahead and roll another one. We're going to keep trying till we get a decent uh, decent run here. Which I feel is going to be coming soon. I just, I can feel it. I feel like we're going to get a decent run. Let's go ahead, let's go north this time. We always go south, right? I mean, there is that town that's right there. Usually we, we hit up and get some early game loot, but I don't know. We've been spawning in the same area over and over again, too, which I think is a, a little odd. I could swear that you spawn in different areas usually, but let's see what we've got here. Okay, a zombie for one, if we can get him trapped on the car. There, we buys us enough time that we can head inside this house. Okay, that's completely worthless to us right now. But the hat, not so much. Now, the only problem is I wish there was a way you could get out of here because I'm going to have to get hit. Maybe not. Let's see if we can lose him around the house. No, we're not going to lose him. In fact, he managed to hit us several times. Boy, this is already way off to a bad start. These zombies are rough. Hey, it's like real DayZ, you know? It's it's like actual DayZ where the zombies just completely blow. You can't even hardly avoid them. All right. If we hurry up and bandage ourselves, we should be able to heal up just fine. Yeah, because it says right here we feel healthy, which means that we're going to start gaining blood again. But as soon as food levels and everything start dropping, that's pretty much it. And you can see our hats instantly ruined, so we'll just drop that. It's completely worthless to us now. All right. Oh, where is this taking us? Oh, I hear gunshots. Yep, I definitely heard gunshots. Off in the distance. Heard a zombie, too. There's a couple there. We're just going to run around. Yep, there's another one. We're getting closer to it. Maybe if it's a uh, uh, some type of bandit or something. We can get them to shoot these zombies off of us. Here's a schoolhouse here, it looks like. Always good to hit up if you can. Ah, I don't think we're going to get into this town. I hear those gunshots. They're getting louder. Oh, there it is. It's a, sh it's a bandit with a shotgun. He's definitely shooting at me. Oh, that zombie killed him. Holy crap. We're going to go for it. There we go. We just got, we just got loaded. Give me that real quick. That's a dress. I definitely don't need that. Hey, there we go, right? All right. It wasn't a whole lot of gear, but we got a head torch and a sh double barrel shotgun with some ammo for it. So I'm okay with this. A lot better where we were earlier. Hey, we got a pipe wrench too. Nice. Now we're talking. Go ahead and eat this tactical bacon. I just don't see why not. The pipe wrench is going to help us deal with some of these zombies, so let's do that. Oh, of course we're bleeding. Okay, tear that into rags, I guess. Now we just need to find some type of shirt or something because we don't have one. I guess we'll go steal that dress that that guy... Oh, it's this right here. Boom, there we go. And it's, uh, I don't know, plus three heat. That's all that matters to me. Hey, matches. Okay, we're getting lucky. Uh, fresh tomato. I think that's a can of tuna right there. Should be a good find. It is. Okay. 
And we can use a shotgun here to kill the zombies. It might be a better idea. It just depends. I mean, you never know. What do we got here? A bandage? Yeah, we probably should have that. What could we drop, though? You know, I mean, we could eat something. Um, everything else is pretty much useful. Um, some 762 rounds. At this point, we just need, like, more storage. A vest or a backpack would be optimal. So we've got the head torch. Um, hmm. Is that a survivor? I think so. You know, so the, the helmet's pretty good, but we could go try to kill that survivor. We've got a shotgun. papers we're looking for water actually or something to drink warm hat ah as opposed to the head torch you know i'm gonna pick up the warm hat uh the head torch is okay but another pipe wrench what's ours at 98.4 percent that one's at 50 oh here we go this is what i wanted Yep, okay, so let's drop the something that we would be okay with losing if it disappeared. Okay, that. Okay, I'm hoping we'll get our drink high enough we can start healing. Oh, I don't think it did. It got us close, though, I bet. If we could find a water pump, that'd be great, because then we could just drink up, load right up on water. We'd be all set. What do we got here? Oh, there's one right there, and it's in an infenced area. This would, pay, this would actually make a really good base. So let's go ahead and use this. Nice. So we're actually going to be able to heal up and we can drink right full. Nice. We're all set now. We're, we're going to start healing up, which is good. I think we'll lose that zombie if we come right up here. That would be a great place for a base uh, just because of the fence and everything. I'm very, very into that kind of stuff. You know, building a fence and building a full-blown base, but... We're missing a lot of things that we need, like, you know, a vehicle would be pretty cool. If we found a working vehicle. Alright, I don't think there's anything else really here to explore. We saw that bandit run past earlier, but he's pretty much gone. I think this is the dress here. I could tear it maybe in the rags. I don't know. Let's see, plus, the, plus four heat. I can't, but I can tear that in the rags. So why don't we... Well, I don't have the space for the rags anyway, so I guess we'll keep moving. We'll just keep going this way. Either way, we got really lucky. And we'll be able to use this pipe wrench to really wreck some zombies. Um, If we eat the food, we'll actually start healing up. So let's do that. Because I want to start getting some of that blood back. I think that'll save us in the long run. Okay, here's a bunch of vehicles. Definitely worth checking out, I feel. Okay, let's deal with this. Alright. What do we got here? Raider jacket. A little bit better than the shirt, but damage... Or protect... Um, like, health-wise, not so much. It'll be destroyed pretty much instantly. Why am I struggling to click on this stuff? Oh, another shotgun. What kind of... It's a Remington shotgun at 25%. This is a double barrel shotgun. Uh, we could eject that ammo, I guess. Combine it and then take the Remington. It's... Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's stay with the double barrel because it's in much better condition. But we will eject the ammo out of it anyways because that's useful. Oh, rice. Rice is very useful. Hold on to rice. Yeah, seriously. like Hold on to rice if you find it because that... Is worth a lot. I think that's another rice right there. Uh, I'm going to have to deal with this melee wise. Because I forgot to load my shotgun. Not that I really want to. I kind of want to save that for survivors. Um, I guess we'll eat the canned tuna. So we can pick that up. Yep, that is another bag of rice. Awesome. Now I just need some drink. Which I think I just found. Uh, I could just pick it up and drink it right off the bat. Let's drop something we don't need. I guess one bag of rice. Oh, it's tactical bacon. Well, we'll go ahead and eat it. Um, and then we'll pick the rice back up. That's something you always do. So if you find food, you never, ever leave it. Just If you're going to leave it, then just pick it up and eat it. 
um, because if you leave it, chances are you'll never come back to it or it'll despawn. So there's just absolutely 100% no point in leaving anything on the ground. Okay, we're off in the middle of the field and we're out of time. So I think this is a good place to cut it. Doing a lot better. This might be our lucky run. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to wait and find out next time. So thank you guys for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.